so we can include without any uh, problem so include uh, game that age okay that's it so uh, in this game.cpp we just initialize the SDL and uh, a few variables and later then we will add player we will add it here and so on so for now uh, just make the constructor so game game all right and here just initialize the variables first thing to uh, initialize is the screen because we will use the screen things in later so sdl set video mode okay and uh, I think we should use constant in this class so uh, yeah you can use constant in a class with the static keyboard static const static mean there is just one of them uh, in all class the const is mean it's a const obviously and then the type which is int and then the name make it screen width and make it equal to 640 the only and the only one uh, variable actually it's not variable it's a constant which you can initialize inside the class is the integer static constant integers so don't initialize anything as just a static constant integer okay uh, probably it will not even take a space because it will be just uh, replaced uh, any occurrence of this screen width with 640 when the program is compiled okay and we need a height so screen height and uh, this is 480 okay so now we have constant so it will easier to work on it all right so screen uh, with screen height and 32 bit per pixel and we stored it and we store it in the main memory so the system memory okay so now we load the images i know i haven't implemented the load image function yet and i will if i will not forget it so uh, block block or blocks what that what did we call it uh block so make block equal to load image and uh, blocks dot bmp if i remember well yes it's load the it is blocks dot uh, bmp okay so we load the background so load image and this is called endless dot bmp all right so now set the camera coordinates so camera dot x equal to camera dot y equals zero and cam okay i just said the camera coordinate is we start from zero zero coordinate and uh, the width and the height is the width and the, uh, the height of the screen uh, okay so we set the direction uh, this is where do we go at the moment Uh, we don't go anywhere so direction 0 equals direction 1 equals 0 so both zeros okay and um, 
I think that's all. Let me see. Initialize the uh, initialized the map will be initialized in the uh, load map function direction initialized. Yes, we initialized everything. Okay, so go to the destructor. The destructor will actually just uh, uh, delete these uh, uh, surfaces and uh, queue it from the SDL. So SDL free surface. Uh, oh, not the screen, the block. And uh, the other will be the background. And we just exit from the SDL, so SDL quit, and that's all we need to do. Alright, and uh, let me see. The next uh, thing we should implement is the load image function because we use it here. So we will return with an SDL surface pointer from this function, and this is inside the game, so game. Uh, not gamer, game, colon, colon, uh, load image. Okay, and it's with the constructor file name. Alright, so we create a TMP surface, so SDL surface TMP, and we load the image to it, so SDL load BMP and uh, the file name okay so we just load the image to a temporary surface and we convert it to a display format so uh, sd has the uh, uh, surface i call it tm i call it tem2 and make it sdl display format okay and just give the tmp if you don't know what the sdl display format is it's basically just convert the format of this uh, template uh, temporary surface uh, to the format of the screen uh, sometimes for example if your screen is 32 bit per pixel but your bmp is i don't know uh, 24 bit per pixel then it has to convert every time you put it in into the screen so we just uh, convert it once to the format, so it will be uh, good always. Okay, and uh, one last thing, uh, set the color key. So SDS set color key, and uh, we set the color key of the TMP2, and uh, uh, SRC color key and the color will be SDL map RGB screen format and 0xFL 0 ok so this is I usually use uh, the color so 0 max max uh, this is that kind of bluish color uh, for now you know what just comment this out Okay, uh, it is good to see the collision boxes, but later just uh, uh, delete the comment and uh, it will be good. Okay, and delete the TMP surface because that's not needed anymore. So SDL free surface TMP and uh, return with the TMP2. Return with TMP2. Okay, we don't have to free the TMP2 surface because, you know, uh, we just give back the pointer to the blocks or the background and we will free it in the uh, destructor. I don't know why was, uh, why was it right, but then never mind. Uh, okay, so the load image function is ready to use. Okay, uh, probably I will make the handle events uh, right now and I leave this to the end of the tutorial so void handle events and this is inside the game so game colon, colon handle events 
and uh, this will do what we usually do when we handle events so make an event and then pull the list while there are events and then just do what uh, do we want so sdl event event and while sdl pull event So while there are events, then we just uh, pull it and switch event dot type. So we just get what type of event happened. For example, quit event. Then we just exit from the program. Oh, I think we need one more thing. So we need a boolean uh, bool running. Okay, this will be just uh, say uh, is is it running or not <laughs> so the main loop and initialize it here running okay so we just set it to true so it will running okay and if the quit event happened then we just set the run running to zero so as the oh so case as the l quit then we just uh, set the running equal to false and we return uh, probably i mentioned already you can return from a void function uh, without any actually return value just uh, type the return so it will just exit from the function that's all it needs to do okay so case uh, sdl uh, i don't know key key down so if the key is down, then we get what key is down. So I use another switch here, switch uh, event dot key dot key sim dot sim. So we just get what key is actually pressed. And if it is the right key, then we set the boolean one to true. If it is the left key, we set the boolean uh, one to true so case sdl k uh, left so if the left left key is pressed then i just set the boolean so the first element of the boolean array to true so direction equal to direction zero equal to true and we just break it here so and if the uh, uh, right key is pressed, then we do the uh, the same thing with with the other element of the array. So the uh, direction one, okay, and break it here, just to make sure it is break uh, correctly. Okay, and I just copy this SDL key down and make it an SDL key up so I just do whatever we did in the basic moving tutorial uh, so that just set this to zero and this to zero that's all and uh, probably for now it is enough event but obviously we can easily add other events to here all right and uh, here we go make the load map function actually make the start function first so we can see that uh, how many mistakes did we make in this simple program so void game uh, and this is the start okay so uh, whenever the object is created everything is initialized as you can see so we can actually start to use that so we can make the main loop so while running then we just handle the events handle events so we handle the events and uh, do we do another thing i don't think so nope that's all we need to do in here so while running we handle the events and whenever the escape key or oh, whenever this x is pressed in the uh, right 
corner of the window we just exit from the program